Over your career, you have acted in the theatre, and you have also acted in many films. Which do you prefer? They're absolutely different media. They require different things from you as an actor. I love them both, but they're each of them completely different, and you bring completely different things to them. Obviously, the crucial difference with the theatre is that there's an audience there, and that's such an important aspect of it in every way. It's there important because you have to reach out to them, make sure that everybody can hear and see what you're doing. The beauty of the theatre is that every single performance is utterly different from every other one. How do you motivate yourself to play the same character again, night after night? I think as you get older, you realise that、um, you never get it right.、Uh, I mean, I've, I've probably about half a dozen times in my forty years of acting have thought, "Well, that was a really good performance,"、uh, but it can always be better. And so one goes to the theatre every day, hoping that it'll be in some way better.、Uh, Uh, you know, there's always the possibility you might get it right. I mean, you never do. You never can. So, what for you is the main difference with film acting?、Uh, in movies or television film, which is what almost all television is nowadays,、um, a lot of those responsibilities are lie with the director and the editor. And as a, having directed. Film myself, I know perfectly well that you can make、uh, a sad scene funny, you can make a slow scene fast. Uh, uh, in the editing suite, it's it's a, an astonishing、uh, power that a director and editor have.、Um, uh, Uh, you can make a character seem stupid just by editing them in a certain way, or make them seem brilliant by editing them in a different way. So, in that sense, the actor is rather powerless. Anything else? The other thing that's very hard about acting on film is that, hilariously, it's regarded as a sort of naturalistic medium. But in no sense is it that for the actor, because you're you you know first of all there are some you know little metal objects right in front of you, sort of staring at you as you're doing your love scene or whatever else it might be. 